Some of them we can just push over. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Said we're gonna push over some. So we got a lot of trees here that are two feet, two and a half feet. Nothing, nothing up to 36 inches though. So, you know, there's a dead one. There's another one over here you just can't see. See all this discoloration back in here? See it in there? See it in here? Slight tan. This one. They're all coming down. So, to make sure things fall where we want, put the bucket up against. Then we make some cuts and it falls over and we don't have to think about it. When you see the bark all off it, you know you're in trouble. As an example, if you look at these rings, they get tight way back here. Okay. So from here back into here, it's taking us back to around 1950. I'm so lazy I never count the rings, but we'll do it for this video. So I'm going to get the little chainsaw off the bush hog, brush pig. See this is sap, and that's what tells you you got pine beetles. You see those little holes? Tells you the same thing. They're everywhere. See, here's one. What is this? Eight, eight, eight. So this is about 32 inches across. Yeah. Yeah. Broke off kind of high. Yeah. Yeah, I would have got the saw, almost. My saw was about a foot and a half or more that hit, actually. We should make a log cabin house out of this stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it, these poles are actually perfect. A lot of these are perfect for log cabin. Yeah, yeah. Straight. Straight, and, and they don't, they haven't got a fast taper. You want to avoid right. a fast taper. Hey, Bill, it's falling. Yeah, I know. It's trying to fall. Well, if I put the tractor on, it's down. Yeah, it moved about a foot from the top. Huh? At the top, it moved about a foot. Fuck that cedar right up. What? Fuck that cedar up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. I didn't care about the cedar. They don't even care about the cedar. Well, it's a lot of trees. We cut them down. Oh, God. And then over here, let me show you. That's about... 20 cords sitting in there. So then I gotta gather all that damn hose up. He has no concept of time and labor. Water this thousand redwood trees. Boy, I tell you, that spearmint, that just brings the honeybees in. Got thousands of honeybees here every day. Plus butterflies and stuff like that. The pond. You probably can't see it, but there's a turtle there. And there's a turtle right there. They're on the surface of little brown spots. They got two turtles on the surface. Cool. Three. Two of them just dived. 